decode for us the meaning behind the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> we all in the abyss. Mm -hmm. We all are. Juice World, this young kid rapper right here, was obsessed with the concept of the abyss. He was obsessed with it. As you see, he's got a freaking tattoo of it on his forearm with, of course, 666, or as his story is, 999. It's a, it's a good thing. Right? We'll get to that in a second. But also, 999 has a deeper meaning in relation to the abyss, and we'll get to in a second. But, you know, this kid is dead. Okay, of course, he, he um, passed away of, quote unquote, overdose, you know, powerful painkillers, they call it, they called it, they, uh, I, I think they described it in the media. And of course, and so this is what happens when you sign your blood on the dotted line, sign your soul away to the industry, become a puppet of Satan to satanically program the youth, subconsciously program this antichrist agenda and telegraph it. This is what happens. And they'll just, they'll throw you away like garbage any minute for one reason or another who knows what happened to this kid but that's the risk you take when you do that and so unfortunately this is what happened this kid became a mk ultra demonic puppet and didn't even know what he was saying they had this kid come out and give this ridiculous story behind why what the 999 was behind his you know the whole theme of his music website clothing line the rest of it and of course kids are going to believe it they're zombified themselves they don't you know, they're not critically thinking. They're going to believe this story of it's making it into a good thing. If it's a good thing you made it into, then why is he putting death and skulls and all kinds of horrific symbolism associated with it? Why is he putting it on, on skeletons and knives going through skeleton holes with the 999 on the, you know, foreheads and, and all this hellish imagery? Yeah, okay, that's very positive, man. That's so good, right? So, no, just all demonic. Of course, also he has anti on his hand or anti for antichrist of course it's short for antichrist because this is the antichrist agenda and relates to the opening of the bottomless pit of revelation 9 11. okay so this is what it's all about so shout out to one of my subs for sending me this information just another piece of the puzzle and lo and behold in strong's concordance 999 relates to something called Bothunos, which is, wait for it, quite literally, the definition, a pit. A pit. Here we go. Probably from Bathus meaning deep here we go you cannot make this up the deep chasm of the abyss so of course what should come as no surprise to many of you is another individual here who was obsessed with the abyss and has written quite a bit extensively about it in his works is none other than crowley the beast himself and he basically talked about this uh, ancient demon called Karonzon, who was the dweller of the abyss, right? Who dwelled in the abyss. And he goes on and on about what he interprets as the abyss. But I showed this in my last video. I'll go ahead and read here his quote. Quote, I cling unto the burning ether like Lucifer that fell through the abyss and by the fury of his flight kindled the air. And I am Belial for having seen the rose upon thy breast. I have denied God. I, and I am Satan. I am Satan. I am cast out upon a burning crag, and the sea boils about the desolation thereof, and already the vultures gather and feast upon my flesh. End quote. In the past two days, we heard from the experts that if we don't take immediate and difficult steps, we will reach the edge of the abyss. In order to save the lives of Israeli citizens, we are required to impose full lockdown for two weeks. We will reach the edge of the abyss. We will reach the edge of the abyss. So that brings us to this. This individual right here, our good old friend, the late, great Herman Cain. That's right, Mr. 999 man himself. You guys remember, right? 999, 999, the greatest plan ever. 
you see you see now you guys can see the bigger picture now you guys can see what this was really all about and all it was about was telegraphing the agenda telegraphing the symbolism here just look at the headline here Cain's 999 plan of course conveniently of the biblical Cain that's not by accident they target public figures celebrities etc uh, more for their names so they can use them and keep using them um, that fits their agenda quite perfectly this guy perfect fit Cain boom now you have Satan's 999 plan <laughs> right in plain sight all right, so that's what this is all about. This guy is a longtime puppet going way back. And, of course, recently being used right to the very end here as of recently just supposedly died of the Blovid, right? Died of the Kobe. First, they had him, as they've been doing, as they've been doing, using public uh, officials, okay, high-level people in government to downplay the, downplay the virus. And then what happens? They get sick or die, right? That's what happens here, um, downplaying the masks, all of it, even having him come off as rebellious. People are fed up, as you see here in his tweet. And then what happens? He gets sick. And then what happens? They tell us that he dies. That he dies of the baloney virus, right? <clears throat> so this guy, longtime puppet, right to the very end. But that's what this was all about. So we derived this by using existing revenue numbers. So it is not a gimmick, and we've also had it scored, and it will boost this economy and create 6 million new jobs. One thing I would say is when you take the 999 plan and you turn it upside down, I think the devil's in the details. How many people here are... When you take the 999 plan... And you turn it upside down? You know, Rick is so wild and has went so far off the, the meter. It's shit that I can't even tell, talk, tell you on TV. I mean, you know, I, for the sake of our friendship, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even going to bring it up. But trust me, he's went there. He, he, he has went where it's like, yo, Rick, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? Man, you don't take this shit too far. And his response is like this. There's no such place. Darkness. Let's go to the abyss, nigga. I'm not with it, man. I don't want to go to the abyss, man. You know what I'm saying? Rick wants to go to the abyss. In fact, he dwells in the abyss. Rick James dwells in the abyss, okay? And he, and he wants company sometimes, you know? And, and for some reason, he likes to reach out for me. Whenever I'm around, when he, when he wants to go there, he will reach out for me to try to take me to the abyss with him. And I'm not with it, man. I'm not with it.